Hey guys, welcome to Extensible Tarot. I'm Dre Eden, and I'm here to give Leo their monthly spread. I'm going to do things a little different this time, guys. And as always, I pray off the camera, but I'm going to ask Spirit seeing you guys love and light, and that if you find any messages today, that they reach you in the best mind, body, and spirit. And all these messages may not resonate, but we take what does, leave the rest, right? Don't let nothing fit that don't. And let's jump right in. Spirit, what's going on with our Leos in the collective? I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread for you guys. Everybody gets a Celtic cross spread. <laughs> This time around. Oh, that right there. What's going on with Leo's right now? There we go. Where is it? Okay. Okay, guys. Let's get right into this. Leo's for your situation you have the lover's card so some of you guys are basically um in a relationship or very connected to yourself at this time either as a coming as a situation that means you're looking at your love situation between you and someone else or with you and the factors of how um love comes to you for yourself like how you receive love how love is given to you the things that people do are you getting love right now so for your situation is really basing around based around whether or not the love that you have is substantial to you is it does it does the love that you receive from others does it add up right now to anything so you're very much accessing if the love around you means anything <laughs> you know what i'm saying and for your challenge of that comes in the ten of swords so right now this is argue people arguing within love situations you being conflicted within yourself about um a certain type of love this is also love coming to an end. So some of you guys out there is going through it with your mate. 
Um, I really see in this too a lot about it's like a man turning 40. And this is, could be for some of y'all. Well, late, he's in his late 30s. 38, 37, 39. You know what I'm saying? Getting towards that. And what I feel off of this is a lot of guys at that age start to assess. This is for the masculine energy out there. A lot of guys at that age um, try to assess whether or not they are going into the right. So, ooh, I see this right here. It's like if you... um. If you're in a relationship right now and you with a guy and you don't know why he treating you shitty or doing you dirty right now, it ain't got nothing really to do with you. It's this energy of him getting older and him, you know what I'm saying, trying to understand where he going in his life. So maybe you're waking up um, arguing. This is waking up arguing. This is having that mental conflict with him. This is that sleeping on the couch. This is that having um, disagreements within the love either that you have for somebody else or this is disagreements with somebody that has love um missing love out of their life also and this is also for them people that's alone out there that is a mental conflict that is blocking the love from coming in so if the love is the situation then the challenge is you and this block of love for the people out there that's not opening up for love to come in. <laughs> this speaks of a mental block within that. So it's something that has to do with you. That you have to get over. For this love to even show up. For you even to see it for what it is. Or for you people that's out there. That's in the relationship with that 30. Uh, late 30 year old guy. He's going through. Um, that's you know midlife crisis for men. Men only get up to, you know, if you're blessed, you're 90. But really, 80 is the lifespan for men. So, now. So, um, yeah, he's going through a midlife crisis. So, the arguments and the pain and the things that y'all going through, it really has to do with this mental conflict that has to do with him. So, he's not intentionally doing you dirty. He's not intentionally want to aggravate you, um arguments not doing what he should for the kids per se for people who have kids out there this is a lot of um of like grown-up mentalism that's showing out in front of the kids <laughs> so that could be a situation for somebody out there you know what i'm saying so if you're in this energy or why the person that you're with is not connecting with you and that could be for anybody out there. That's because the mental block on the love that they perceive probably within their cells or for the other person. But this has really got to do with a self more personal conflict. And an ending to feeling this type of way. I wanted to say that to the end. It's an ending of feeling like you are not enough. Or you're not getting your needs met. Or you're not, you know what I'm saying? Or this is an end to a mental blockage of love. Because tens are completions no matter what. How, no matter how hard they come, right? Whew. That was that. Now moving on to the beliefs right now. Or the beliefs you might perceive right now. The three of pinnacles speaks of hard work why others see you do that type of work or a certain tangible understanding on what you're doing for work you're you're making a masterpiece you're being spiritually led to do certain things in your life if this was the belief you would want to see value and cause in the things that you do so these might be people places and things that you are seeing you with the value that you have that you personally might not see it in yourself yet but this is saying that you are definitely going into the right space of having the right beliefs about tangible situations in your life. So to have the three of pentacles for a belief is to say that I understand where 
my situations are going into beliefs. Some of your beliefs might be that you need to do a little bit more um, within your jobs, within your homes, and going um, closer with that. This is also that personal business of you guys, anybody that's in, you know, your own home businesses and situations like that. This put on a lot of growth on those situations. This is people seeing you do those situations too, Leo. You know what I'm saying? Having a certain reverence. You know what I'm saying? Being on the front line while people see you working hard, doing the hard work, understanding the hard work. And then maybe in this situation of doing all this hard work, let's clarify that. I want to see a little more. What is this three? Oh, it's coming quick. There we go. Yeah. The Nine of Pentacles. On top of the three of pentacles is an understanding and a groundness within your money. So that's like you, you're going for a goal and an option within your tangible situation. Things you can touch, feel, see. It's, it's more like I'm going to sit here. They say this is the complacent one, right? He sits there and he's watching. He's not really moving. But with the three of pentacles, it's more that the work is done. So you're just waiting to see the funds and the money to come in for some people out there. Or this is you understanding that there was more to the situation. Probably within them relationships, you're seeing is more to the situation than what meets the eye. And then everybody's seeing you walk around looking like everything is going or, oh, everything's fine with you. But no, you have problems too. But your mind is basically, yeah, on your money. So everything else you call them like, that's bullshit right now. And, you know, that's what you're going into. So for the beliefs is understanding that um, basically what you want out of life matters. And what people view within that situation really doesn't mean anything. So having the belief that you can make what you want, you can have the things that you want. It may take time. It may be steady. Those type, it's on that type of round. Come on, Leo. Ooh, too many. Okay, the root of the issue is the magician. So this is really people, places, or things to be a root of the issue. And the root of the issue, and when it's a magician, is basically saying that... Um, Yeah, it's a give and take. The magician comes to switch shit up. It can be a dark energy. It can be a light energy. It can be abundance. It can be cruelty. So to have this as the root of the issue, this says a lot of playing. And if we hit from the situation of love and within these relationships and things, this is a lot of blind eye. This is a lot of, this is a lot of behind the back behind your back type of energy things being done behind your back um with the ten of swords being on the challenge so yeah the challenge is you <laughs> understanding that you know what i'm saying we make our reality right we have some type of input on how situations come out of our lives right leo so this is more of a get with the program type of situation this is you understanding that you gotta you know you gotta you gotta dig in the pot sometimes this is intuition knowledge reference telling you that sometimes you you gotta play the field too because other it leaves you it leaves you feeling like this so basically in a more structured way you have this type of energy once you structure the things you need to put into line for things to come out better for you within your life however you want to put that situation but the root of the issue would be the mind games the playing <laughs> That's usually what it is sometimes anyway. Let me clarify that just to make sure. Hmm? Yep. 
definitely in love and is making a decision. So <laughs> the root of the issue is understanding that, you know, two can play that game. <laughs> understanding that, yeah, even though he's going through a midlife crisis, that is not a, um, it's not an excuse to basically give this type of energy you know having a wall up in situations where you know you're supposed to be 50 50 on understanding certain things that you're supposed to have a quality of understanding on like everybody don't need to know your business right but coming in with the two of cups on the magician saying that it need to be an equal give and take so this tells me that um if you can't beat him, why not join him, right? <laughs> so having the right answers, you know, making the right decision within any emotional state that you choose, you know, to what I say, play to. Have an understanding in the way you're going to go forward, knowing what you're going to do, using your tools in your toolbox to get things done within love, within action, within cause, feeling better about it. Having a better understanding, going for the things that you want, the root of the situation, and saying the magician is the first one is you. <laughs> you can change those options. Okay, Leo, I am with that. In your near past, you have the Empress energy, the Emperor energy. So for that to be in your near past, that means you... um. That's coming from greatness. That's coming from an understanding, um, rational point. These are, um, if there were people, places, and things, they will be of great statue. So maybe you are, in your near past, you came from a, a certain stability that you probably don't have anymore. Maybe you just had a job that was like the best job and now you don't work that job no more or you you're going into um a more less stressful situation in life when it um when you just came out of something that could have you know been very heavy on you so come coming from an emperor energy is coming from something very high something very demanding and we gotta get the time on that i need to know about that spirit give me something for leo <laughs> it's all about the money around this mother i hear be a beer it's a whole lot of money so the emperor and the queen of pentacles that is abundant energy that that's a, a, somebody got some money in the past <laughs> this is coming from just living the good life put it like that somebody was just living the good life and maybe you know you're back to reality up oh, there goes gravity <laughs> that is somebody's coming from the good life um where you're going is great but this is an energy of feeling like you just had it all or you still have it all or you're going in a good mood and gracious way of how you think it's very stern um not letting anybody take anything from you not letting anybody say anything to you not letting anybody do anything to you this is where you're coming from you're coming from a point of now understanding your worth and understanding the quality and values of what you have yeah you put up with a lot of shit in your last relationships and situations so you're not walking into another one because now you know your worth right you're not walking into the next relationship you're you're putting you know barriers on certain things and they're not barriers to hold you back they're more barriers to keep a certain stability about the things that you want in your life and that's your basically much going for so understanding that you have these options and these options are the options of stability and quality within yourself then you get what you want out of life then you you're, you start to um feel more whole and complete within your um mental emotional and spiritual 
state. That's beautiful, Leos. Get your life. So the so from this day forward, it's more like you already know that um I put up with what I choose to put up with, right? You do what you choose to do. So you get the options. Um I mean that comes out the options of what you're going to ultimately see in your life, right? I am so shall it be, right? So let's get back into what your near future card is. Your near future card is the Four of Wands. This speaks of a bliss and understanding any emotional state and going. So yes, coming from that Emperor and Queen of Pentacles, you're definitely gonna walk right into and this is this is the near future. This is walking right into the bliss and the things that you want. If you're able to get over the little bit of humps that's in your way, people, places and things, then you'll be able to see clearly Spirit going to guide you right into what you need, or whoever you pray to, going to guide you right into, you know, whatever you need. And this is a beautiful energy because it comes from understanding the wands is more of a feeling situation to me. Swords are thoughts. So this is a whole structure change on the way you're going to be feeling within relationships within <laughs> jobs um that that's a balance like no other within self or with a union this is you actually having this conversation with your lover having the conversation with your kids giving them a certain understanding that okay i'm not gonna play with your shit this is like if you have mental conflict between the people that you love come on now if you have mental conflict between the people that you love then you're gonna ultimately put the end in your near future to these things and it's gonna walk you right into what you you know what you're basically looking for that humbleness that you're searching for within your life it's right around the corner i'm gonna Oh, I need to see more on that. Okay, two minutes. Yeah, give me something for Leo for this four of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Hierophant. Yeah, that's institutions. That's building things. That's that's building quality in relationships. That's building quality in business. So if it got anything to do with that, that's that's coming from the highest point. Oh, the fool is out here, too. So, I'm going to take that, too, because that fell. I didn't see that. And um, the fool is supposed about going on a journey and on a new voyage <laughs> to a new horizons and new things. So, if this got anything to do with business, it's abundant. It, it, it's, it's, it's amazing to know your worth and walk into a room and demand the need that you have demand the things that you want and coming from not a demonic or deep place just real genuine um embodiment of love you know solomon consciousness being free with um all that you know being free being able to exhort that in a room that's what you're going to be walking to. If you didn't have the courage before, you're about to get it now. That is beautiful. So, your self-perception right now is the five of wands. And self-perception is, remember, wands is feelings. Then this is a, a, a mindset thought of that I feel like I'm not enough. I feel like I'm not enough. And if this is this relationship where you're not feeling like you're not enough, just because, remember, in this scenario, this person has his own, because it's more of a masculine energy, right? This person has his own, whether it's male or female, though. But this person had their own qualities and their own things to deal with. So, yeah, it might seem like they're taking it out on you. And you might seem like it's being very much against you. It's actually their own personal demons that they're fighting with. And then it's just disrupting their livelihood, which is leaking into yours, which doesn't make it any better. But um, 
when we can separate that the malice does not go towards you, then now this situation got you feeling like this. Like now I'm mentally conflicted. I don't, I don't know what's going on. There's, there's fights, there's journeys. This is also those fights within the relationship, like I said. And this is in the self-perception thing. So whatever's going on around you got you feeling like at war with yourself. Like, oh, it's me. And um, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Let's see. Great, give me something for this spot. Let's see what's going on with this one. Oh. It's a sword. But well, it's a source speaks of a a thought that moves with an action. So to have mental conflict and to have this thought so strong that it wills this type of action will say that whatever you thinking is the problem. I just gave a scenario of a man um, entering his 40s that I feel prominent that I needed to say for somebody out there. But um, this could be anything of something that you know is, is the factor that's giving you conflict in your life and you're choosing to put up with it Maybe just to have a relationship or just to, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, have somebody on your arm or, um, or just to have that job. And, you know, when you know there's more better and you need this coming completion, the completion is coming because your challenge crossed you with a ten of swords. So knowing where, you get what I'm going with that, knowing where there's conflict there is change. So that's where you're going with that. It's a self-conflict, but it is the change of the things that's coming in your life. And outside influences and how others perceive you is the Eight of Cups. So outside influences see you walking away, being distant, not really caring. This, my kiss my ass car so the energy that people are seeing you as right now leo is like you just don't give a fuck like i don't care i i don't I, what <laughs> what you want to say what you want to do you don't care you're walking away you're done with people doing you dirty you're done with people saying things to you that just don't mean nothing situation people places and things <laughs> maybe i'm gonna take that one yeah page of wands having a newness a fresh experience so it's not that you just being angry and mad you got bigger fish to fry the page of wands speaks of having a newness going on his own situation. I'm doing something new. I can't have this. So them relationships, they about to be dead. <laughs> because you got a new value of what's going on. You want something new out of your life. You want to step right out of this, the emotional bondage. <laughs> well, I call it emotional bondage because it'd be a lot going on, right? Right into the page of wands, having this new thought. Don't the emperor got new clothes on? <laughs> you know, doing for yourself, making sure everything is okay with you, starting from a new freshness, a new understanding within self. So most of you Leos are trying to understand, well, if you want a different thing, if you want something different, people, place, or thing, you got to do different things within yourself to achieve those, right? And you guys are going right for it. I like that. And the action that you need to take <laughs> is the three of swords. 
the action you need to take is really truly do not care you need to focus on the things that you got going on in your life what's what's happening on with you sometimes a closed heart is a open mind i'll say that because you giving your love away um freely and still not being beneficial to you so now that leaves you in a mind space of conflict of yourself like you're not enough so it's not okay for you to shut your heart down or not be so open um really mentally towards situations that don't feed you no nourishment so this is going cold-hearted but in a way where you are going to profit off of it it's not like it's you know what I'm saying? It's not like it's not for your well-being. Like you're just going to be like mean and dispirited just because somebody treated you dirty. No, I see you going the other route, not really caring. Oh, what's that? World? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. This is not giving up your time, your money, your energy to nothing that's not beneficial for you. So most of you Leos out there is you're taking everything that you got with you. You understanding more value and caution with you going in your life. And you're not really open to the bullshit. That may not say that you're not open to new relationships. You definitely are. You have the page of wands here. So you're definitely open to new feelings, new um, understanding. You're just not willing to take the shit that you've been going through in the past with you to the future. All right. I'm with it. And like what I said with that closed heart, but open mind, you get to the word. This is the eight of Pentacles. It shows a steady, stern, working, understanding, emotion pride that's putting pride to the side and understanding what you really need for your life <laughs> and for this to be the likely outcome is you having pride in situations and glory and understanding within your own work you can't lose i mean if that wasn't the best <laughs> outcome <clears throat> let me get a card for that one Ain't nothing wrong with going to get a little close hearted, especially to the people that don't deserve you. Yep, and having strength. Working hard and having strength. That's the outcome of you leaving these situations, these people, places, these things. You going for your own thing. You understanding your wealth and your glory, your work, your entrepreneurship, the things you're going for. Understanding the people around you, the ones that don't mean you no good, and the ones that you're walking into. Understanding that you got value, structure, and stability. Taking that with you in your near future. And understanding that there's quality and goodness, strength, and hard work and dedication is going to lead you to the, the love, the bag, and the understanding. I like it, Leo. I mean, mental conflict with yourself is more... I mean, I'd rather have that than have mad mental conflict with other people. Because in this read, you had no mental... I mean, conflict with people. It was self. It's you doubting yourself. You're not being able to... Um, really move forward at first. But I see clearly that you're going you're gonna to sprint take off in the right direction so spirit gonna give you a nudge to go forward i'm gonna end this with a angel oh wanna come out quick huh? i'm gonna end this with an angel oracle card that came out quick they fast archangel josephia 
Get rid of the clutter, clear the energy around you, and use fringe shayu. Right? Clear your space. Now, if that wasn't, <laughs> was that not what we were just talking about? Leaving a situation that doesn't do you no good, clearing out the clutter. Jophiel, Archangel Jophiel, I always botch their names. <laughs> but clear your space. That was your reading, Leo, for October, almost Halloween, if you celebrate it. And I will see you guys next time. I am Dre Eden. This has been Instinctual Tarot. Blessings.